Welcome to Grey Overload. I'm Anthony and Microsoft decided to release a update that put in news and interest in our taskbar. Microsoft has been releasing Windows updates in the last two weeks that enable this um, news and interest tab down in the taskbar or spot in the taskbar. Now, this, I'm going to show you how to turn this off because to me it's annoying and Microsoft says that people want this and maybe there's people out there that want it but this should really be an opt-in not an, not something that just appears in well especially in um, not even a major update this is just pushed out in my current version of Windows um, and Microsoft said oh yeah here you go no I don't want it Microsoft I didn't have it enabled I turned off people already so um, yeah, that was a feature that Microsoft had that they're getting rid of as well. So there's a, I just don't get where this really came from with Microsoft, and it's annoying that they're just keep on throwing out a whole bunch of stuff and hoping that it sticks to the wall and not fixing all the bugs that they have as well. So they they have this, you know, and you can manage your interest, you can refresh it. Obviously, I haven't set this up. This is generic. It did pull. Uh, my watch list movers so I watch stocks in with Microsoft but I don't go to Microsoft for news just stocks so if you want to actually get rid of that um, annoying little thing in your taskbar then you right click on the taskbar you go to news and interests and you can go show icon so that's what it looks like for show icon and then let's do the right thing and turn it all the way off there, now you restored back to the way you wanted your computer and the way your computer was right before the last update. And I don't know if this is out for everyone quite yet. So maybe you're coming down later down the road and coming to this video and saying, okay, I have this now. Here's how I turn it off. Um, in the last week, I've gotten a lot of people asking me, contacting, call me, texting me, saying, how do you turn this off? So I'm creating a video about it. So obviously people are noticing it and not um, not wanting it on there. <laughs> and granted, I I mean I I guess I have a wide range of people. Some you know novice users like my parents, all the way up to advanced users like uh, um, my friend Tom, which I'll be building a computer for. Stay tuned to see some of the parts that I'll be unboxing for him. He's purchasing all the parts, and I get to put it together, which is a fun thing as well. But I, I don't know where Microsoft's thinking about this. Let's get the OS stable. Let's make sure that we're improving those underlying issues and making Windows work more efficiently and not adding some stuff on top. Yeah, features are nice. Um, but when people are also coming to me and printing's not working and everything else and they run this on their day-to-day -day business, these extra features just get annoying. And then you get another call saying, how do I turn this off? So um, if Microsoft's saying, yeah, this is something that we you know the users are asking for um is that the same users that ask for the people that you're that so there's a thing in the taskbar called show people on the taskbar is that the same thing that you're removing now because nobody used it i there's some of that here that i'm not understanding and you know maybe somebody from microsoft is willing to reach out or contact me and say yeah th this is the data this is what we actually see but I, I have my doubts of what this is. And to me, it's okay to have a new feature inside a major upgrade. So let's say this next major release of Windows. Uh, my current releases of Windows and then putting that feature in there is annoying. That's, that's you not being customer centric and looking at what's best for your customers because I have it set up. I don't want to add features into this computer, right? This is my computer I'm rendering on. I mean, talk about businesses that run their business on here and you insert a feature and it screws something up, Microsoft. And then people have to mess around and try to figure that out. That is time sink into that problem, spending money into an issue that doesn't help them generate money. Do it on a major version. Get out of this little bit here. But um, going back to it, this is, you know, how you turn it off is, you know, you just right click, go up to news and interest and then turn off. And I, if you are looking at it, hopefully this video shows you how to do it and you're good to go. But 
let me know what your thoughts are on this on what Microsoft is, is inserting these features and everything else in these minor updates that should really be um, focused on getting um, getting stability improvements and reliability improvements to their users. Now, if Microsoft wants to change their business model and not have two major updates a year, this would change for me a little bit. And then you can put features in with the updates. It's just, you know, pick your poison here, Microsoft. You kind of went down the two feature updates per year already. So where are you going with that? So with that, I want to thank you guys for watching. Leave the comments below of what you think about this new feature from Microsoft. If you like it, if you don't, or if you've already turned it off and you're just coming for this uh, video for, you know, just to, for support here for Gray Overload as well. I really appreciate it, what you guys have done for this channel and helping this channel grow. It's been amazing here, and I hopefully will continue to grow as well. And with that, God bless, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.